The weapon is called an arc projector. I sent it to the Normandy's armory so you can examine it for yourself and use it if you deem it worthy. It's gone through plenty of tests that indicate it's overloads, it overloads kinetic barriers and th synthetic enemies particularly well, but laboratory demonstrations are a poor substitute for actual field reports. We know it works. Now we want to see what it can do with the right hand. If all goes well, we'll use your tactics to train other operatives. Rendezvous with Kasumi Goto. Shepard, uh, at great cost and effort, we've tracked down the master thief Kasumi Goto and convinced her to work with you. Master thief, eh? Very few people have ever heard of her, and fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She is unequaled at stealth and infiltration, and her skills have proven valuable in your mission. Travel to the Zakara ward in the Citadel. There, you will find a special ad terminal that refers from the usual. Input the password, silence is golden, to begin the rendezvous. Matak Heavy Rifle. From the Elusive Man, Shepard, Miranda has been working with Edie on crunching battle telemetry numbers, and Edie had an interesting thought. She suggested we may be overlooking older, proven technologies in an effort to prove you, provide you with a state of the art. Normally, I wouldn't give much credence to the idea, but when the ANAI criticizes you for loving high tech, it gives one pause to consider. With that in mind, I delivered a few heavy rifles, the Matux to the Normandy. They've been modified for thermal clips, but the rest of the rifles should be the old, reliable gun that colonist militias have been using over for decades. Good hunting. The Geth Plasma Shotgun. Shepard, a cell of ours, acquired an interesting weapon from the Geth. It's much like a shotgun, but it's higher tech. Something to do with firing superconductors that create plasma on impact. Its ammunition is more specialized than those of our shotguns. It's not hard to make or modify. I've arranged delivery of a few of these weapons to the Normandy. Capacitor Helmet. Shepard. By the time you read this, our technicians will have delivered a capacitor helmet to your armor locker. It will step up your shield recharging technology. Use it in good health. Phalanx Heavy Pistol. Shepard. Edie informed us that Jacob recently acquired some M5 Phalanx pistols from some friends who shall remain unnamed. I appreciate his resourcefulness, but he had cut, but had he, had he come to me, I would have made the arrangements. We've discussed this, and to show there are no hard feelings, I've had a few more complimentary phalanxes. Replacement parts from their laser sights and the repair manuals delivered to the Mordenity. Use them how you will. Archon Visor. Ooh, I love the Archon Visor. Shepard, our technicians just made, all hands, made a handoff to your crew. A visor and a bit of software called the Archon System. It manages processing power for biotic amplifiers and omni-tools, or more correctly, allows you to do the managing. It's now in your armor locker. And the Kestrel armor. Shepard, our armor technicians have had a lively update about the Kestrel armor system. The suit is supposed to be effective on its own merits, but the technicians felt its shield algorithms were best exploited piecemeal and custom arrangements by combining it with other armors. I've shipped the Kestrel suit to the Normandy. It has a modular programming so that you can mix and match parts as you wish. Yes. Awesome. So these are all... Deal. All of these are red. Everything, everything is red. Cool. Upgrades, unread messages, archive messages, which I've already looked at, and advanced combat training. Watch Cerberus training videos on advanced combat tactics. I think I'm fine. Travel to Ait. So many, so many things to do and see. Welcome Yeoman aboard, Chambers. Commander. Yeoman Chambers? I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Uh, I guess the pleasure is mine. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. All right, sure. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. You spy Everyone on them? knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. That's interesting. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. Well, that actually is pretty cool. I think more warships should have that. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. 
What else would you like that to know? That was a very creepy smile, Clive. What do you think of Cerberus? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. Are you happy here though? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Uh, that's... Kelly, we've, I've known you for, like, what, five minutes? Uh, okay. I would... I, I'd catch you. Your trust is well-placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk about? No, I think you're... Yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Maybe we will. Tech lab. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Oh my goodness. Look at our Joker, ED, Normandy hologram. Research terminal, galaxy map personnel terminal, weapons lockers over there, elevator, armory, briefing comm room, and the lab. Oh my goodness. Choose the loadout. What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using Omnitool, computer-aided design, and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. Shepard. The M4 machine pistol, the M3 heavy pistol, the M100 grenade launcher. The arc projector. The arc projector um, ionizes targets with a non-visible laser to ready them for a high-voltage electrical attack. As the lightning-like bolt hits its first target, a sophisticated auto-targeting system paints success succeeding targets with the ionization laser, allowing the electricity to take the path of least resistance and arc between them. An entire enemy strike team can be shocked to death with a few pulls of the trigger. That is pretty cool. It's like chain lightning. M3 heavy, heavy pistol. The M5 heavy phalanx heavy pistol. The M5, uh, highly accurate and lethal sidearm effect. Well, let me read about this pistol. Reliable, accurate sidearm, effective against armor, weak against shields and biotic bar barriers. Manufactured by Alanis Risk Control, the Predator is valued as a powerful, deadly, and relatively inexpensive weapon. While it is not genet generally deployed in the military, where kinetic barriers are common, it's still very popular in the tournament system, where these defenses are less common. Highly accurate and lethal sidearm, effective against armor, weak against shields and biotic barriers, uh, upgrades the Predator heavy, heavy pistol. The M5 Phalanx is the product of the Alliance's offensive handgun project that developed a close-in weapon to be used on unarmored or shielded targets with no loss of stopping power in comparison to the soldier's assault rifle. The Phalanx enjoys a ballistics advantage even over most hand cannons and features an integral laser sight, which is highly visible even in bright lighting conditions. Civilian variants are often purchased by colonists on planets that can have particularly dangerous big-game animals. The Grenade Launcher, a rapid-fire grenade launcher favored by Blood Pack Vorja mercenaries, capable of taking down multiple enemies with a single well-placed shot, effective against armor shields and biotic barriers, but I'm going to keep the projector. And the M4 Shuriken Machine Pistol, a common but effective submachine gun. Fires three round bursts and can be pulsed for a higher rate of fire at the expense of accuracy. Very effective against shields and biotic barriers. As kinetic barriers have grown in popularity, also has the popularity of submachine guns. Manufactured by the Elkos Combine, the Shuriken machine pistol has a reputation for being deadly and easy to use, but is weak against armor. Jacob. The M23 Katana Shotgun. Common military shotgun, deadly at short range, but ineffective at long range. Very effective against shields and biotic barriers, but weak against armor. Manufactured by Ariak 
technologies. The katana is a common mercenary weapon and is also popular in colonies with barren infestations. The M22 Inviscerator Shotgun. The Liberschaft 2180 shotgun or eviscerator is one of, of human civilian design and has a unique ammunition generator. Where most modern firearms shave off chips or pellets from an ammunition block, the M22 shaves off serrated metal wedges designed to fly aerodynamically. This dramatically improves its armor-piercing capabilities. And its tight grouping helps wound ballistics at longer ranges than standard shotguns. This design also violates several intergalactic weapon treaties, so the M22 is not distributed to militaries. The Geth Plasma Shotgun. This three-barreled Geth weapon fires miniature but potent cluster rounds of superconducting projectiles and has a long range than standard, longer range than standard shotguns. A two-stage trigger system allows for either quick fire capacitors or a charge and release attack to electrify the projectiles as they exit the weapon. As the rounds hit the target, they fragment and electrify arcs between the pieces, flash converting the air into to conductive plasma. The resulting impact, heat, and electrical charge overload shields and barriers and causes massive trauma to unarmored targets. I'm going to keep him on the Eviscerator shotgun for now. The M3 Predator, predator Heavy Pistol. We already, yeah. I'm going to give, I'm going to give him the Phalanx. And Miranda. Actually, Jacob, just so there's a little bit of variety, just keep the Predator. Miranda can have the phalanx, and the, yeah, it's fine. These are our heavy weapons. Oh, Jacob, you're here. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. I, Jacob is starting to warm up to Clive, so he's starting to be friendlier to him. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. I'm glad to have you aboard, Jacob. I do... Clive is, is starting to really like this guy. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. All right. Can we start? Commander. Can we talk can more? With something? Can I get to talk more about you? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. All right. How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Probably the same as everyone else. I just want to figure out what the real threat actually is. Got no problem with risk. I just need a clear goal. Anything else, Commander? What do you think of the state of the crew? We don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Miranda and I stopped a Batarian plan to release a biological agent on the Citadel. That's when I first met her. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Save the Citadel like you, but what's the same? A good deeds like pissing yourself in dark pants? Warm feeling, but no one notices. Wow, Jacob. The whole thing was hushed like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud. Okay, Jacob, thank you. We'll talk later. Commander. Too, too much information there, buddy. But thank you. Oh my goodness, look at that. You can see the core from here. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is the armory. Of course Jacob is in the armory. The tech lab. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Ooh. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? 
Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one link to each world. Interesting. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. I learn something every day, Edie. Thank you. Very cool to hear all of this technology talk. Tech labs. All right. So we're good here. We're good here. This. There's a lot. This. And Normandy is a Commander, lot. you received a new message at your private terminal. I think I already checked those, Kelly. I already, I already checked. I don't have any left. Yes, you're a little bit late. Come on, Kelly. It's your first day on the job, and you're already late. What's this area of the ship? This is the Combat Information Center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. All right. Oh my goodness. We're going to the captain's cabin last. Let's go to the crew's quarters. Oh my goodness. This place is huge. Crew deck. Life support system. Access to life support is restricted. The port observation deck is closed until needed. Ooh, men's bathroom. Wow, these are a lot. This is a lot nicer than they were in the in the Normandy SR1. And the women's bathroom. Oh yeah. Shepherd, I... The men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. Well, what about the transgendered crewmen? What about the transgendered crew people? They should be allowed to go into the whatever bathroom makes them feel most comfortable, Edie. Did you ever think about that? Come on, Edie. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. Mm. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Mm. They really designed this place really well. And by design, I mean the programmers did a really good job of designing this so you could see this beautiful view of the core on several floors of the... Normandy. That's pretty awesome. Oh my goodness. Uh... Chef surprise again? Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be a service? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. That's important. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. So, wait, you... You clean our toilets and cook our food? So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands. Most of the time. Mm. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel. And I catch what falls through the cracks. Yes. <laughs> through the cracks. I, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it, sir. Uh, How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough. But losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. 
I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. That, those are all super important, and we really should recognize the people that, you know, are the foundation of, you know, our day-to-day -day here on the Normandy. So I'm glad, I'm glad that the uh, programmers added a character like this, because the people who have those types of jobs on these missions are so critical, and we just hardly ever give them the recognition they deserve. You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. So how can I help? Because I'm... Me being a foodie, I definitely want Clive to ask that question. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Try me. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Nothing else, sir. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Medical, elevator, Miranda's cabin, main battery, AI core, starboard observation, screw quarters, life support, and port observation. Let's try it. <gasps> Dr. Chakwas! <gasps> Another familiar face! Oh. Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Why are you here? It's good to see you too, Dr. Chakwas. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships. Never knowing what the next mission might bring. Mm. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. Mm. This is why I love you, Chalk Dr. Chalkwas. You are an amazing woman. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. I love, I love, love that. I don't work for Cerberus, I work for you, and how much she trusts me. Oh, oh, Chakwa, she's just like our mom. Oh my goodness. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. That is super admirable of you. Super admirable. All right. Dr. Chakwas, do you need anything? Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Yeah, we'll see. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Find Brandy. I love how that's a quest. Access to the AI core is restricted. Oh, of course it is. What's this area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short-term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. Ah, oh, Miranda's office. This, this is a nice office. Goodness gracious, Miranda. Uh-huh. Commander, what can I do for you? 
Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Yeah, thanks. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. Really? No. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My what? reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Uh, okay. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. There's nothing wrong with a confident woman. In fact... In fact, that's a thing. I feel like... I, I feel like, um... I mean, depending on where you are culturally... Uh, when you have a woman, especially a woman in a leadership position, and they're confident, they some people consider them right off the bat to be total bees, just because they're confident. And I think that's a little bit of a shame, because I feel like, you know, especially in modern society, women have to work extra hard for them to be able to rise up in, you know, rise up in... The workplace for example or or forms of leadership or even salary to have them you know it seems seems like women are still not quite equal to men when it comes to you know what comes to salary and, and position and things like that in the workplace and it's a big shame so of course you know being confident and you know being confident like that is a very good asset to you in order to help you become successful because you have to believe that you're just as good as anyone else on there regardless of what your gender is so I, I, I get Miranda and I, I don't really get a 
I don't really get an arrogant vibe from her. I just think she's very confident. And I think that's a great thing. And I think that people need to think twice before they assess somebody who happens to be confident. You know, you know they, they, they need to reassess whether or not that comes from a place of arrogance necessarily or it's just because, you know, they're, they, they have high self-esteem. And there's nothing wrong with having high self-esteem. You know, it's, it's rather healthy. So, granted, it's also healthy to be humble, too, but I think people tend to get all up in arms about, about women and confidence, confident women.